Hey everybody, it's Nolan again, and it is Tuesday, May 19th. Sorry, it's been a while. I, uh, I don't know how I did it, but I crashed both my iPhone and my iPod 5G, both in the same day. Well, I know I did it. Uh, having both uh, devices dangerously close to uh, full capacity. I think both of them had like 100 megabytes left of free space. So, yeah. One crashed and then like a couple hours later the other crashed. So, I lost a ton of a ton of stuff. So, um, I kind of had to start this one over here. Uh, unfortunately, this one doesn't have iCloud support. But, Anyways, this one's a Super Puck Jam by uh, JK Games Mobile Division. Uh, JK Games, uh, two guys, uh, Joshua Kraft and Cortland Winslow out of Philadelphia. Uh, this is their first game on the App Store and hasn't got a whole lot of attention since uh, May 11th when it came out. But I've been having a blast with it. I guess you could consider it an... Endless runner, endless skater of sorts. But anyways, your your hockey player uh, constantly skating, and the object pretty much, as you can see, is to fling pucks at everybody. Um, you can kind of fling pucks by using your left thumb to slide back, kind of a slingshot, uh, Angry Birds type controls. And then when it tells you to every so often, you use your right thumb to swipe up or down, like right now to get out of the way. Yeah, right now my guy's so weak. I had him built up originally. But yeah, I, what kind of got me on this one is the the 70s uh, hockey theme uh, was just awesome. You know, for some reason, the, the old, I don't know what kind of art style this is, um, just a, a vintage look to it kind of is what got me. One thing that's kind of frustrating right now is um, there is no restore purchases anywhere. Uh, what was kind of weird is you could donate. I'll go to it right now. I think, yeah, get more coins. Yeah, and the very bottom you can donate. And I assumed it got rid of ads. Well, in the fine print, it gets rid of, I don't know what that is, interstatal ads? <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, it got rid of the pop-up ads. It didn't get rid of the um, banner across the bottom, which, whatever, I'll deal with. But now that, uh, now that I had to start over and re-download it, I have the pop-ups again. So I kind of lost out on that. But yeah, you start off with basically three hits. You can't get hit by bottles, by keggers, by uh, anyone else, any of the other players. So I was kind of hoping to play it with my old uh, save file because uh, you can kind of build your guy up. There's a ton of upgrades I'll go to in a few. And... Uh, yeah, after so long that there's uh, bosses in this, uh, that that's what kind of really made me like the game was it wasn't here. Here's one of the bosses peeks out. Um, it wasn't kind of a mindless, uh, endless runner. It had a lot, a lot of depth to it, I guess. I mean, anybody that knows me knows I'm a sucker for upgrades or anything, any type of things I can. Uh, 
kind of playful. I love upgrading my character or different power-ups or whatever. But yeah, you're going to want to do growing shots and face shots. That's where what knocks everyone pretty much down. Uh, you can get quite a bit of coins on each run, especially after you uh, start building your guy up. And then the upper left corner, there's uh, your rage meter. The more you uh, hit people, the more your rage meter goes up, and then you can use your power-ups. Like right now, that puck storm that kind of shoots a bunch of pucks out at everyone. But it tracks your distance. I mean, the, ultimately, the main goal is pretty much just to get as far as you can, but every, I think, uh, thousand feet, meters, it doesn't say, um, you get to a boss. And then you have certain goals, you know, uh, like right here, complete three games, destroy five kegs, perform ten stick hits. Oh, hop up. I mean, it's a little rough around the edges. Like I said, it doesn't uh, support iCloud. It doesn't support Game Center, which uh, kind of is a bummer for uh, Endless Runner. But yeah, you'll go to your uh, upgrades. You only have a couple equipment. And then your your upgrades, you can uh, max out, you know, keep uh, maxing out your life. And then there's just tons of different abilities and upgrades that you can uh, buy. And then you have your special attacks, like I just used the Puck Storm earlier. I mean, like I said, I love being able to upgrade and uh, buy abilities. I mean, it, I'm not really a big high score chaser, but so if there's little, the you know, the carrot on the stick thing that keeps me going, I'll, I'll play forever. Like this is the first boss here, he'll come back later. But yeah, I'm really surprised it didn't get, you know, it hasn't gotten any attention, really. I mean, it kind of popped up in the forums for a quick minute, and I can't remember what came out. I'm sure something big came out and uh, overshadowed it. This would have been a good, uh, like a Monday release or something where nothing's really going on. It probably would have got a ton more attention. But yeah, controls are simple. Like like I said, it's kinda like the Angry Birds controls. You can you can aim uh, at whatever you want, but yeah, it's just pulling back and letting go. Pretty much like shooting a puck. So far, I've only been able to get to the second boss. I won't say what it is, but uh, it was pretty cool. But yeah, I got my ass kicked on. But yeah, I just really dig the art style in this. I think if it would be perfect if they added Game Center, added iCloud, um, oh, a restore purchase uh, button would be great.
But yeah, here's the in-app purchases. They range from buck ninety nine to nine ninety nine. And like I said, there's the donate a dollar uh, in-app purchase there. Uh, other than that, uh, like I said, it, it, it's small file size, uh, seventy six point eight megabytes and 126 installed it's rated 9 and up uh, like I said it does not support game center uh, it does uh, support flip screen orientation um, it requires iOS 6 or later and it's uh, actually optimized for everything pretty much uh, everything up to the 6 plus um, but yeah like I said I highly recommend it if you're in uh, Endless runners. It's a little rough around the edges as far as options go, but um, you know, it, if uh, you're in the mood for something different, this one's definitely it. Uh, as always, thanks for uh, thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe. Follow me on Twitter. Blah blah blah. Bleep blah bloop. Um, thanks for watching.